Step three is a pre-feasibility study. It is the first of the advanced mining engineering studies, which attempts to answer the question, what will it be? By the end of the study, we need to know which mining project option is the best choice. Sensitivity studies are undertaken to prove the robustness of economics and to identify their highest risk factors. By this point, we will have all categories of mineral resources and ore reserves, as per the Jork Code. A pre-feasibility study relies upon first principle calculations and therefore has an accuracy in the 20% to 30% range. Pre-feasibility study is the first study that is suitable for public release and it is often the minimum, minimum requirement for IPO listings and project financing. Here is the Jork definition of a pre-feasibility study. The key words are a range of options are studied. A PFS uh, relies upon several competent persons. It requires a well-experienced study manager, usually a person with a mining engineering background or an EPCM contractor. Companies may choose to undertake their own pre-feasibility study. However, in practice, many of the sections are undertaken by independent consultants who are specialists in their fields. Generally, uh, funding parties insist that the data, geology, resources and reserves are signed off by an independent consultant uh, as these inputs are critical to the entire study. In the slide before, <coughs> I showed you a number of competent persons uh, that may be required for a coal project PFS. This slide shows the headings and subheadings where each of these people may be needed. In section 6.3, it reserves uh, to comply with the JOR code, the competent person completing the coal reserves must review all sections of the PFS study, so all these sections in front of us, and deem them to be suitable to uh, estimate reserves. Reserves must be based on the results of a PFS study or a feasibility study. An all reserve estimate is not usually a single event process. Typically, several iterations may be required to obtain the optimal life of mine plan and reserves. Changes in one factor will require changes to other factors and will result in extra work. Hence, there is a need for good leadership and guidance from an experienced study manager to ensure that timelines and costs are kept in control.